Hello and thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own Adobe Lightroom 2020 presets. Presets make it easy to apply the same settings to individual images or to multiple images in bulk. Presets are going to speed up your image editing workflow, make sure you have a consistent portfolio or Instagram feed for a certain season or team, and you can maintain that certain style that you like on all of your images. Here are some examples of what we are going to achieve by making just one fall themed preset and applying it to four random and very different types of images. If you like what you see, feel free to like and subscribe as more informational photography based videos should be coming very soon. For now, let's get started. I've got four images here, all from Pixabay. These images have their own features and characteristics. Some are a bit darker in general, some have some higher contrast. It's a nice range to show how your presets will affect on different images. There are some default presets in Adobe Lightroom already. They are under the presets tab on the left side. And when you hover over them, you can see the effect on your images right away. You have the color presets, creative presets, black and white. And you can do this with every image. Applying a preset is as easy as just clicking it and it's applied. And you can see the effect the preset applies on the right side after clicking it. If you want to undo a preset, you can do that on the left in the history or with Control Z. For now, we're going to look how you can create your own fall team preset. I've created it before. It's in my preset list here. And as we hover over it, you can see the effect it has on the image. We can also do this with the other images and applying it is as easy as just clicking it once and all the settings as you can see on the right are applied right away. So now we're gonna create this preset ourselves and dive into the settings that were applied. I'll undo this one. We'll go to the first image and we'll start with the basic settings for this preset. As the temperature is a bit hot in this image, we're going to cool it down. You can see the difference right away. It really accentuates the blues. And we're going to put this at minus 12. It's just a little bit of fall, the colder atmosphere added to the image. And then we'll go to the tint. We'll just up this a little bit. As you can see, it's from green to the more magentas. Just a little bit. Now for the exposure, we're gonna make it all a bit darker in this case. We'll add some contrast. I always like to contrast. And now we're coming up to the highlights. It's just playing a bit to see what looks best. Now we have the shadows, we'll pull back a bit. Now let's add some whites. Also to play a bit with the contrast again, 
and blacks and whites. I'm gonna reduce the textures. When you're working on the sliders, it's just very minor changes. You don't really see the difference. But when you pull it all to the left or all to the right, you can see what it does. And then you have to find the sweet spot that looks best to you. Okay, so that's minus 15. Just for the clarity, I'm going to up it a bit. And the vibrance, you can lose it a little bit. It also helps with the less colors during fall. At least a little bit colder, toned down atmosphere. And we'll leave the saturation. Now we are coming to the tone curve. With this you can change very yeah, much of your lights and your blacks or your darks at once just by pulling down on this line here. So we're gonna go here. As you can see in the center, it says what part you're working on. So when we go to the bottom, it's the darks, shadows. When we go up, it's the lights and the highlights. We're gonna just pull up a bit on the highlights. Also here you can see what it does to your image. As a matter of fact, let's reduce them to get a little bit more out of the sky. Now we're coming to the darks. And we're gonna raise those. And that's about right. When you're working with this line, when you selected it and dragging it up and down, you see the white margins to where you can pull it. I cannot go up and I cannot go down here. So that's something to keep in mind. Also in your histogram, in the right top corner, you can see how your image colors and balance is changing. Yeah, let's leave this here. You can also manually set every setting that we changed above with the slider. You can also set it here manually just by entering numbers seeing what it does, moving the sliders. It's what you prefer. Now we're going to the HSL settings. This stands for U saturation and luminance. The, it's also split into three parts, U saturation and luminance. And you might have to change it from color to HSL first. It's just by clicking on the category on the right side. As we are working with a fall team, we're going to really focus on the fall colors here. So for our orange hue, we're going to make it more orangey instead of yellow. As you can see here, you can also pull it right to the extremes. And you see everything is getting yellow. And we pull it to the left, it's getting nice and warm towards those fall colors we want for this theme or preset. And leave this right about here. And all these colors, when you have them in an image, they are mostly you are fading into each other. So if you put this one, this orange color completely to the left, this will also affect the other colors next to it. 
at least you get a much higher contrast. That's not something we like, at least I don't like. Um, I like to have them yeah, fade over nicely into each other. I'm gonna increase this one a bit more in comparison to the orange one. And for the greens also, and for this a lot less green and a lot more orange or yellow tones. Aqua just a little bit towards the greens. And then we'll leave the other colors. I'm gonna go to the saturation part now. The red saturation has just up it a bit. Same for the oranges. Here you can really see what it what the effect is. And as for as we are working on a fall team, we really like those yellow and orange colors. As for the greens, we're gonna pull them back a bit. The same for aqua. Let's compare it to the original image and all the settings applied now. You can really see a difference in the color tones and the overall feel of the image. To switch between the before and after view, you can use the backslash key. So let's continue with the other settings. I'm also going to take the blues a bit down here. Just to give it a little bit of a colder vibe. And then we'll get to the luminance section. This is also the red we are working on again. You can see little differences, especially in the tree on the right. I'm gonna increase the luminance, increase the oranges, the orange colors, and the yellows and the greens. For the aqua and the blue, we're gonna tone it down a bit. So that should be it for the HSL or U saturation and luminance settings. I'm just gonna add a little bit of a vignette to it, just to draw you in to the image a bit more. When you go to the effects, and then you have a post crop vignetting. As you can see, when you pull it to the left, it gets darker. When you pull it to the right, it gets lighter. I always prefer the darker vignetting. I'm just going to increase the feather a bit. Also here you can see this is almost no feather. And this is very, very light feathering. You can barely see the vignette now. I'm going to place it right around 80. Because I don't want it, it's a preset and I don't want it to interrupt the image too much. You can always add a separate preset later. And as you can see in the default presets, you also have the vignetting option. Non, light, medium and heavy. And you can always apply multiple presets over each other. So if you want a preset, you can just click one of these presets and it will add a vignette over your already existing preset with or without vignetting. So now we have all our settings complete. These are all the settings we need for this preset. And we're gonna save it. So you click the plus icon on the left, add new preset, create preset. And here you can give it a name in the first field so we're going to call it Fall Lightroom 
2020. Just for an example, as I already have the full team preset here on the left. You can choose a group where you want your presets. You can arrange them in separate groups if you want. For now, I'm going to place it under the user presets. It's the same group as here shown on the left. And here you can choose which settings to take and save into your presets. We haven't applied any treatment or profiles. White bands haven't changed this. We did the basic tones. We did color, HSL, and so on. The effects, I only have the post crop vignetting. That's the last one we did. So now we're gonna, I'm gonna just click on create and it will add preset on the left into our user presets. Now we're gonna go and apply the preset to one or multiple images. As we hover over the preset, you can see what it does. You can see the effect right away. It has not been applied yet. I'm going to show you how you can do it in bulk. Just select all the images you want. I'm pressing Ctrl now to select them individually. Or you click one image with Shift and the last images. And click on the last image. And then you select them all at once from beginning to the end. Um, we're going to click the preset now. And it will apply preset to all of the selected images. As you can see in the history on the left, the fall Lightroom 2020 preset is applied to this image, to this image, and the image with the dark. You can also compare now between the images on the before and after what the preset did. And it's quite a difference. It really gives it that fall vibe with the nice orange tones, a little bit of a higher contrast. And the same for this one. It really brings out uh, darker reds and the oranges, as you can see in the wood here. And the higher contrast with the roof and turns down the greens from the trees a bit. So that's how you create a preset, apply a preset, save a preset. If there's anything else you would like to know about presets, let me know. And I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments if you learned something new. If there's something I can improve for the next video. If you want a notification when future videos go live, please subscribe, like and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching for now and have a great day and I hope to see you in my next video.